Hello and welcome to part four of my X-Lights tutorial series. In this tutorial I'll be covering how to add a custom model if uh, there's a model that doesn't quite fit your needs you can create custom models and then also how to group all of your models together in different groups um, that'll come in very handy when it comes time to sequence your display. In the description of this video, you'll find a direct link for downloading the x -Lite software. There's also a link to download a sample show, which is what I'm using for these tutorials, so you can follow along with that if you wish. I also have a few links to my personal display, so you can see what I've created with the x -Lite software. So now let's say we have some snowflakes that they don't have a preset for. Now in that case, what you're going to want to do is actually create a custom object. So when you create a custom object, let's create a new, let's call this our snowflake. And in here, there is no snowflake option. So what we're going to do is we're going to do a custom. Now when you do custom, it's going to give you a new section over here under custom model. What we're going to do first is uh, again we got RGB nodes. Um, let's say it's 50 pixels wide and 50 height. And let's say this starts on channel 1 from output let's say 30. So DMX universe 30. And now what we want to do is actually draw where our channels actually are on this model. So one thing that I did for my snowflakes is I actually pulled the uh, file into Excel. So I'm going to go ahead and pull that up now and show you what I did in Excel. Um, then I could just copy it over and I also have it saved for future that way. Okay, so here we are in Excel, and what I've done is I actually just took a picture of the, uh, in this case I used the Coral Flakes uh, from Holiday Coral. Um, what I've done is I've basically just mapped out as best I could every channel in a Excel square as to uh, the order in which the pixels are attached to the snowflake. And I have both a large and small size flake, um, so I did them both. Um, so in this case, let's just choose the small one. Again, I put the picture in. I put each channel to each pixel. Then when I move the picture away, I kind of have an outline of the snowflake here and where each channel is for each pixel. Um, so all I need to do now at this point is just copy this. And then when we go back over to our X lights, all we have to do up here is go ahead and hit this little paste button and now everything's been pasted in. Now you can see I have all these extra squares down here. I don't need those. Um, I just did 50 by 50 just for simplicity, but um, in this case um, it's actually 17 wide by 16 high. I just want to get that cleaned up a little bit. So now I have our Snowflake custom model put in. Um, we've got, again it starts on DMX Universe 30, channel 1. And in this case, I believe uh, there's 71 pixels, um, so that gives us 213 channels. So now we've got our custom model built. All we have to do is OK. We got our snowflake down, and it looks just like this. And we need to just uh, shrink that down to its appropriate size, move it into place. And we have our custom snowflake built in now. It's not that hard, very easy to do. Um, 
you know, now that we have our one snowflake, in this case I have three of them, um, there are a couple different sizes, but I'm going to go ahead and copy these here quick. And put them 3.15.1. Okay. So there we go. Now we got three snowflakes set up. They're on their controllers that they need to be. They're all configured, ready to go. I'm going to go ahead and fast forward here to the next step. Um, once you get all of your elements and models uh, put in together here, um, now you've got everything set up. Let's say you have your whole uh, display ready to go and you're ready to start sequencing. Well, there's one step we need to do first, and that's creating our groups. Um, when you group your models together, that allows X-Lights to group them together as one and then you are able to do effects on all of them as if they're one whole unit instead of individually. Um, so we need to create groups of everything before we actually start sequencing. Um, now to do that, what we want to do, there's a couple steps. So we're going to click on Select Model Groups up here. And we don't have anything in here, so we want to go ahead and edit the groups. And now we want to add a group. All right, so let's say our, uh, let's start with our mega tree. Group name will be mega tree. I'm going to actually have the grid as per preview. Um, that's just kind of the layout mode, and I want it to uh, grid the effects based on the way it looks in my preview. So I'm going to go ahead and now choose my mega tree, and I'm just going to put that in on its own as its own group. And I'm going to update group. All right, so let's add another group. Let's go through and add all these real quick. Let's put all of our outlines onto one group. Uh, grid as per preview. And we want outline A, B, those three outlines as their own group. Update. Snowflakes. Now we're going to have, oops, let's close that down. All right. So now we've got our mega tree and our outlines in a group. Now I'm going to show you this here because it's kind of confused me in the beginning. If I click OK, you'll see that now only our mega tree and our outlines are what are showing up because now we're working with models. And in the models, we only have mega tree and outlines defined. So now we want to go back and edit our groups. We want to add another group. We want to call this snowflakes. I'm going to do all my snowflakes over here real quick. Update. Uh, what else do we have? We have our window matrixes. We're going to call this window matrixes. One, two, three, four, all our window matrices, update. All right, so we have our mega tree, our outlines, our snowflakes, our window matrices. Um, now let's create another group called whole house. And you can have as many groups as you want. You can have anything as in as many groups as you want. It really makes no difference. Um, groups are super helpful in allowing you to um, group everything that you may want to do as one effect together. So in the whole house, we're just going to simply select everything. 
which will allow us to do effects on the whole house as if it's one element. I'm going to update that. All right, so now we have our mega tree, our outlines, our snowflakes, our whole house, and our windows. So make sure those are all checked. If they're not checked, they won't show up in the preview screen. Um, so now that they're checked, everything will pop back on. So now that we've created all of our models and we've grouped our models into the groups that we wish to have them in, the last step you want to do is save. So down under models is a save button. Make sure you click there and save your setup and your layout. And now we are ready to start sequencing. Thank you for watching part four of my x tutorial series. Please subscribe to this playlist as I will be adding videos as I can. And thank you for watching.